Hello there, Erunar here, and today we will review Aigan Pelasgians. Aigan Pelasgians are a Trojan faction led by Deiphobos. He is a reckless hero who is charging to battle, and with his axe, he is able to do a lot of piercing damage very quickly or inspire one of his units to charge and fight better. Let's review his infantry roster. As Trojans, we start with Vilisha Warband, one of the cheapest uh, front lines in early game that you can have. Then we got Trojan Warriors. They are similar to Young Spears, slightly worse, but for the purpose of of Young Spears they will do the same job. Unique unit Pelasgian Axe Warriors they are very good at supporting your front line on flanks and they are able to deal a lot of pierce damage and for your unique front line option Pelasgian Spearmen are unique in their two-handed melee mode. They are going to put their shields on the back and draw their two-handed axe. So for normal fighting you will be using spear but against armored front lines you will switch to axe. Then in mid game we got Pelasgian veteran axemen who are pretty good at supporting your front line on flanks. Uh, then we got standard shielded spear warriors. Just like in the Paris roster we put shield on the back and support them with missiles. Uh, similarly, we can do almost same with Pelasgian veteran spearmen, who got comparable stats, but uh, they are switching from spear to two-handed axe. So again, if you are facing lightly armored uh, units you either stay with the spear or with the shielded spear warriors Inst but if you are facing more armored units you want to switch to the axe in the mid game we got access to heavy swords which are perfect for front line with their improved fl flanking defense they are able to hold the ground and eat a lot of arrows so I recommend using this for the front line and access to support their flanks and consider uh, the spear line for charging or for your missile support. Then we got late game. In late game we very like to use Pelasgian Sword Masters. They are very good solid front line. Compared to different sword units these are more defensive together with their flanking defense improved and very high defense this will be your core front line on the sides you will want to support them with Deiphobos Chosen these axes are very nice at cutting enemies down and scaring, scaring them away lastly we got Pelasgian Renowned Spearmen which are very powerful uh, they again can switch weapon to two-handed axe so depending on your enemy and their armor you are going to keep or switch the weapon and this is very strong unit in general then we got missiles as Trojans we start with light skirmishers which are, which are usually not recommended uh, instead we got two slings options uh, I will show you the standard slingers. They have more range than Achaean slings. And compared to them, Pelasgian slingers, they might have slightly less range, but they are much better at dueling other missiles. The armor, HP and morale is decisive. So in early game, you can duel and face enemy slings or archers and win the battles. Also in early game we got Pelasgian archers 
which are similar to standard bowmen, but they have much better stats, morale, and they also they are able to shoot while moving. Then in mid game, we have Pelasgian skirmishers, who who are pretty pretty good. They might not have the best javelins, but they are able to use their stam stamina very wisely and with 40% shield, which is very nice for skirmishing, they are able to duel enemy missiles. In mid game we could access to archers, uh, the standard archer unit for Trojans. These are very good solid missiles, 150 range and 31 missile damage is pretty standard, recommended for your mid game. Then in late game we could access to Pelasgian veteran archers. They are improved in armor, range and damage. We still got pretty okay speed. So this is your option for missiles. For chariots as uh, Trojans we could access to Anatolian chariots. I recommend to use them also together with heavy Trojan chariots to replace them in late game. These are very good. And lastly we got archer chariots which I do not recommend. They are weak. They, their missile output seems to be high but they have only 12 models so they are not good for missile damage and for melee, for charging you got melee chariots instead. Now I will show you a simple uh, replay featuring these Pelasgians so you can see how to use them in the mid game for example against enemy settlement garrison as, the, as those you will fight the most often. Okay just wait a second to load it up and I will tell you more about the army composition that you can aim for. On the beginning we got Pelasgian Slingers, early game unit comparable to Echian Slingers and since we got much better armor and HP we are able to duel them and win. Then as I mentioned Pelasgian Swordmen are very strong, very good frontline for the mid game. They might be expensive, but they are very solid. Then on the sides we are using Trojan warriors and our hero is uh, using shield and axe to support our flanks. And on the right side we also got Trojan warriors and we will be trying to flank with Pelasgian spearmen. They already have shields on the back and they have two-handed axes ready to be going. Here you can see our guys are dueling enemy slings efficiently. But enemy has brought more missiles than us. So we, ha we have to go and win the infantry fight. In this battle I did not bring enough missiles, uh, that's why um, our focus will be to hold the flank, hold the front line and use our units on the sides to win the flanks. So let's speed it up. I'm going to use all the front line to engage and on the sides I'm already moving up. To win the flanks. Okay, this one Shield Spearmen is sandwiched. Since I got more available infantry, I'm able to sandwich these shielded spearmen and cut through their armor. Meanwhile, our Trojan warriors having a field day on enemy missiles. And it's just a small matter of time. As you can see, heavy swords traded efficiently. 
spears are able to chase. Trojan warriors are chasing enemies very efficiently. And we can sandwich enemy hero. Enemy hero is using armored spearman. Very strong armored unit. But we got a very heavily armored swordsman by ourselves. So we are able to fight this late game unit with our two mid game units instead. And win the battle very soon. Yeah. They are routing. Hero is about to collapse. Our swords are pretty good at sustaining. Trojan warriors are very good at clearing up enemy routed units. Yeah, they are chasing away very nicely. And our spearmen with 37 speed, they are going to catch up these units. So, this was a nice easy video about the Igan Pelasgians. And I see you later.